Hi! I promised you a video about brilliance of being and explaining a little bit more about this session. Here we go! So, first session. The first session of brilliance of being, the best way to describe it is to uh, switch on the light. <laughs> It's really for me the, the 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 way I perceive this session is about switching on uh, the brilliance and delight that is the the most amazing part in every being uh, who choose to have a body in, on this planet because the body and the being really create this light create this amazing brilliance that that is most of the time forgotten and a lot of time turned off. So the first phase, the first session has five steps. First step is really turning on the light. I really go into your energy field and I could perceive it really like, like a bubble and I could perceive everywhere you switch off your life, you turn it off, you you hide it for whatever reason and I just go into recreating or at least opening you up to the possibility of being the true lightness and the true brilliance you are all around in every aspect of your being. So that's the first step. The second step I could perceive all around the body over several meters, several miles, an energetic net, an energetic system I would say that feels to me like um, like when you buy oranges in supermarket you have them in some kind of net for me it feels exactly the same but in 3d so this is one of this th 3d net that we have all around the body and basically it's a matter of making sure that this net the energy in the net is stable is active is present because a lot of people that I've been working with has switch, switched off part of the net or there has been some kind of dis, uh, energetic disruption or whatever. So the first idea is to work on the back of the net until the middle of the body and to rearrange it in a, in a manner that it's steady, strong and allow all the energy to flow with ease. Then the next tape step is to work on the spine and I could perceive four to six energetical uh, like f for me it feels really much like DNA strands that really turns around really like DNA but not, not only two there are for, for most of the people six to eight and it's really about waking these trends of energy and creating this strong uh, energetic core, core, I would say. I don't really like the, 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 this idea of core, but really this, this energetic backbone that you can rely on. And that, that has a lot of people after that part of the session, there's really this, oh, here I am. Oh, here is my reality. You know this this feeling of not being so so much scattered all around, but really this like, hey, here I am, without having to project or anything. It's really this peaceful space of, oh, I know who I am, and here I go. So this is really about, I would say, creating the energetic backbone for that. Then the next step is like, uh, you may have seen this picture in many different forms, like all the beings uh, that, that has a body. There's this really strong in light core, uh, really this, uh, at the center of the being, this, this column of lightness and brilliance. And this is really about giving the space for this column of lightness of brilliance to be as wide, as strong, as infinite as it could be in any way, shape or form and really like giving you this, this yeah, energetic like presence 
that, that comes with that. And then the next step of that is uh, working on the energetic field. You, you remember the, the orange net at the back? It's exactly the same as, as, at the front. So I start to activate the net, uh, making sure that the energy are strong, that, that they are working correctly. And what I've been perceiving is that the part in the front of the net has a lot to do with creating the future, nurturing the future, and being nurtured by the future, which is kind of a different point of view than most of us may have. And it's really about opening up different pathways, energetic pathways to be in contact with your future with more ease. And at that point of the session, I asked the people if they would like to add some energy to their future or what kind of energy they would like to be to have in their future. So this is really uh, that part of the um, in that part of the session. So you might want to ask you those questions before we start. Hey, if I could add energetic energies to my future, what would I like to add? And come and play with that. So most of the time, it's really about energetic play and energetic activation. But sometimes when the energy is stuck or where or sometimes I need you to put your attention on something, I will start to use access consciousness clearings to get the energy moving, to put your attention on some dynamics that might be there and have a clear, yes, I would like to change that from you in order for this to be changed with more ease for, for, for you and for whatever is happening there. Uh, this is how the first session goes. Basically, <laughs> and so um, what can I be here? So maybe let's just give you a. Even though I'm being this energy when I speak, let me be in a space where I really give the session to you, and let's see how technology can assist us in you getting just a hint of what this brilliance of being can be. So that was really the very beginning of the kind of session that I offer. So if this energy appeals to you, if, the, if this energy makes you like, oh yeah, I would like to have more of that, sign up and let's play with this new energy and see how much more brilliance of being you can invite in your universe for you to be you and be the brilliant you and the amazing you I know you are and you most of the time forget or tend to forget and what would it take for you to never forget the lightness and the brilliance you are come and place in <laughs>